Hi, my name is Victoria Finley Wolf. I'm the author of Double Wedding Rings Traditions Made Modern. One of the biggest questions I always get on how do you put a double wedding ring together? Well, that is the question. Let me show you how I do it. It's really not that difficult. The first thing you need to do when you make your double wedding rings is to make all of your melon pieces. Okay, you're making your cornerstones with your arcs and your small melons and you're going to make all of these pieces and the best thing that you can do is to lay the quilt out on a design wall if you can um, and then you're going to attach all of them to your concave squares. Now the next important thing that you need to know about this quilt is that these are the rows in which you put a double wedding ring together. Often I'll get people who will say well how if I sew all of my melons together how do you join those? I don't do Y seams. The beauty is there is no Y seams in a double wedding ring quilt. So you start with a curve and you finish with a curve. So here you can see how I have my first row which has my outside melons to the outside. This is going to be my next row. The thing that's the visual impact that you need to remember is it is a curvy girl. Okay? It's going to start full and then it's going to go slim and then full. You're going to look for your final seam when you're sewing these rows together is to have that in and out gentle curve and the best thing is it's the same curve you've been piecing since the very first arc that you sewn together onto your melons. So and explore the double wedding ring. The possibilities are endless.